Sport and the people who make it happen. Join us tonight, only on Channel 8's Eyewitness News. Kennedy has got these. <laughs> Can you hear it? It plays a Christmas song. Jeez. Hey, listen, I'll go you one better. Good evening, folks, and welcome back, everybody. I'm Tom, and the simulcast is on the air now from CBS Radio and Television Live on December the 8th, 1995. It is finally Friday night here. You know, when did I compare myself to Sisyphus? Long time ago. Yes, you know, the guy who pushes the rock all the way to the top of the mountain by Friday. And I get here Monday, and damn if it's not back at the bottom of the mountain again. Uh, Dean Kane is here tonight, who plays a very successful Superman on the ABC television program of the same name. And David Milch, who's the creator of NYPD Blue. Here is a man who went from the halls of Ivy at Yale to Hollywood and one of the most successful programs in the history of primetime television. Plus, tonight a look back at the remarkable career in photos of Frank Sinatra on the eve of the celebration of his 80th birthday. <laughs> this came over the transom today. This is the mistletoe belt buckle, just in time for the holidays. <laughs> they set up nights and dream it up, you know. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Wow. Hopefully there'll be no wind in the studio tonight. No, sir. Thank you. Dean Cain stars as Clark Kent slash Superman in the hit television show Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman on a Different Network. It's nice to see you again, <laughs> Dean. Thanks for coming over. You know, our first meeting was over at CNBC some years ago, and at that time it was a whole new project, and we didn't know if it was going to be a success or not. Man, this thing has really taken off, no pun intended. Huh? It's <laughs> no pun taken. No, it really has really, really gotten good this year for us. The stories have gotten better. The fan response has, has gone through the roof, and we're being called a legitimate you know success hit now and that's a wonderful wonderful position for us what is the difference in your mind between the superman as created by christopher reeve for the motion picture series i guess there were four pictures and the television superman markedly different we, he, christopher reeve's character he did a great job uh... By the way, I mean, I think he was fantastic. Did, did you ever meet him at all? I never have ever met him. Not no. Too. So, so I, I never, I don't have any place to draw him. But I mean, he, he, he was fantastic as Superman. His Clark Kent was the big difference. His Clark Kent character was this nerdy guy that yeah. used to try to hide the fact that he yeah. was Superman. So they tried to create this big difference between the two characters. My character is much more of a man, much more of a normal person. He doesn't try to hide everything. So he's not he's, a nerd, right? He's not a nerd, exactly. Yeah. And he, he also is, he's a person who gets upset gets jealous, has these real emotions, yeah, and that's what's, yeah, that's what's fun, yeah. you're seeing a real character. You know, as I remarked to you before we started, up until recently, before this show, Lois Lane was the only person in the whole world <laughs> that didn't know that Clark Kent was Superman. You know, yeah. she's the only one in the whole world. Everybody else knew but her. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> Just look at the two. And, it's pretty and obvious. by the way, that's probably <clears throat> one of the reasons why this show has taken off, is that now there's, there's a romance building between, uh, between Lois and Clark, and I guess a wedding is, uh, is imminent. A wedding is very imminent. Uh, imminent. 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 Soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's right, it's, we're on the cusp of that now. We're shooting it, we're a bit ahead of what you're going to see on television, but we're right there to have this wedding. And the thing is, about the characters is, is this the Clark Kent character I mean for them to get married for them to push their relationship that far she has to know everything about this that's guy. That's correct. And that's why she knows that he's Superman. He's you know, I'm wondering here, because we're having uh, Mr. Milch come on in a while, NYPD Blue, which has sure. pushed the envelope in terms of sensuality on television on Sunday. I'm just wondering here if, if, if like, we'll see love scenes involving Lois and super, I, I, you know, I don't mean uh, <coughs> X-rated, but if they'll be, you know, if they'll be like kissing and embracing and that sort of thing between Superman uh, slash Clark and Lois. Well, you won't see it much between Superman and Lois, just because Superman is just this this figure that, you know, when Clark can do something super, he jumps out as Superman. But yeah, yeah. There will be a lot of that going on. They're char they're real characters. Yeah. I think the show sort of takes off now. I mean, everyone has seen the same thing. Lois doesn't know he's Superman, the same thing, you know, you go into this, this whole... I'm just wondering, you know, like, if after one sweaty scene, 
if, if Lois would mind everything. Oh, Clark, you really are super. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Well, the closest they get to having sex ever that you've ever seen is in the episode coming up on Sunday, which is the episode that I wrote. <laughs> Go figure. Um, and it's, it's a show called Virtually Destroyed. What happens is they end up in this virtual world and a lot of their subject what their whole dilemma is this whole episode they're talking about is is sex but we're an eight o'clock show so we we don't talk about sex openly as sex we talk yeah. about sex in metaphors and so we, we use other things we're talking about when we're really talking about sex and it's like it's the metaphor would be the metaphor for this particular episode is she's talking about beds on their honeymoon you know what kind of a bed you know, we can go with this place or this place and have this kind of a bed oh, it could be a soft yeah. bed hard bed firm bed straw mat people like sleep on the floor yeah he says you know whatever you want is fine gotcha. by me and she says well what if what if you expect one thing and you get something entirely different? He says, well, well, what do you mean? You know, and then you start getting into, well, you know, you may want this kind of bed and you get something totally different. We wouldn't know because we've never been there. And so that's, that's sort very, of how we talk about it. Very good. Very <laughs> good. Let me ask you about Dean Cain and your life and how it's yeah. changed with this enormous popularity. You know, there are now, uh, you know, the tabloids, you're the sexiest <laughs> man alive. You've got a million girlfriends, a million romances, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and I guess there's one lady in your life who probably is sick about reading about all this stuff. Yeah, you know... The tabloids and the things that go on, I mean, having a relationship is hard enough on its own. Uh, but to have it and then have people saying things about you and her, like people say, I'll read that she is dating so-and-so and she'll read that I'm dating so-and-so. And we're together, and you know, but we're so busy that sometimes we're not together all the time. And so you, you hate that stuff and it's just added pressure and it's really not... I mean, a take wonderful. us into your personal life. I mean, do you have a pretty normal existence? I mean, you know, you have a home that you go to and you probably, uh, you know, have a, a friend that you're with and... Uh, you're not out at parties every night, you're not on no. the rock scene, that sort of thing? I don't have time for that because I work too hard. I work, honest to goodness, I start work at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning on Monday mornings and I finish about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, if 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, Friday nights. And it starts all over again the next week. So mm -hmm. I sleep all Saturday. Saturday night I go see a movie. Sunday I go to bed early, I watch the show and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And it really happens that way every week. There's not a lot of time. I, I manage to have some fun here and again, but it's really, really difficult to go out and do those things, and I'm 29 years old now. You know, there's really not that much. You're not fun. a kid anymore. I'm not a kid anymore, so it's it's not that fun for me to go do those things. On occasion, to go off and blow some steam, yeah, you want to get out and do some things, but you know, the majority of the time I stay home. Yeah, the life the life that people might read about is hardly the life that anybody can leave, let, uh, uh, lead, let alone Superman. Well, exactly, seriously, and you know that is a character that I play on television, and sometimes when you go out and about. Um, that becomes a problem just because people see you as this character and hey you know you hear that all the time you're walking along and it's hey superman how are you it's just that my name is dean i'm a person i'm just an actor and and it's it that becomes you know little shots at you all the time now the last the question i'm going to ask you about the about the role of superman and then i want to talk about when you play football for princeton oh, yeah. and drafted by the buffalo bills how is it like when you put the suit on you know <laughs> i'll tell you uh the first time i put it on was very strange but now it's just, it's the suit. I mean, I'm in that thing all the time. I'm in it every day. I've gotten so comfortable with the thing, I'm, I'm starting to worry about myself. You know? It's like, I don't want to take it home or anything like that. Yeah. You know, Work start, yeah. I start walking around the house and the kids. <laughs> it's, it's a strange thing, but I, I really have gotten comfortable with it. You know, But it is a role. It's like putting on a mask. And when I put that on, I know I'm this character. And when kids are around the set or anything like that, I'll put it on for the kids. You know, if I, I usually kind of leave it hanging, dangling off if I'm not shooting. Yeah. It's because it's, it's a little tight. You know, you've got to be careful about children. Uh, there was a story in the paper, I think, today where somebody is now suing the Disney company because there, uh, some kids, they were involved in something in the parking lot at the Disney uh, amusement park. So they went to the office to, to fill out some forms or make a phone call or make, and, and make sure everything was all right. And at that moment, uh, Mickey and Minnie were getting out of their costumes, you know, wearing were, were blue jeans and T-shirts, and the kids were traumatized. It's, you, know, you know, oh, Mickey's not real, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> so you have to be very, very careful because you have an image, you know, Superman's been around a long time. I also have an excuse, though. I can say uh, he's turning into Clark Kent. You know, we're ready for that. If a kid sees me taking it off, he's just becoming Clark. There you go. <laughs> we are with Dean Kane, who plays Superman on the ABC television program called Lois and Clark. The toll free is up and running. Uh, you know it, you love it, and you'll call it, and we'll be listening to you right after these messages. <laughs> City, Missouri, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Sandra. And hi, Dean. Hi, Sandra, how are you? Doing good. How about you? I'm fantastic, thank you. I uh, wanted to ask you, um, what made you decide to go into acting? I mean, I knew you play football in, in sports. I mean, was that your lifelong dream to go into acting? <laughs> Actually, it was not even close. <laughs>